Hey guys, welcome back to another Planzilla video. And for today's vlog, we are heading to Tagbilaran City to get our philodendron red sun. Philodendron that is a hybrid from Thailand and we are buying it from Miss Lyrica Yushida. That's her name on Facebook. And we will meet her somewhere in Tagbilaran and we will be showing you the actual red sun once we get home and we will be repotting it as well. But before that, please do not forget to subscribe and tap the bell icon beside it so you will be notified once we upload another video. Bye! This is now our philodendron red sun and I'm just so happy that this is as beautiful as how we expected it to be. I believe this is the sample picture and we are just so happy that we came there earlier than the expected meeting time. So we were able to choose from the rest. So ito yung napili namin and this is the most beautiful so far. As you can see, um, it is being cleaned up kasi nga... Bago natin i-repot, i-clean muna namin para pag na-repot na hindi na siya masagi-sagi. So, ayan, we are using just water and a sponge for it. But for those areas, baka magtaka kayo na for those areas na hindi abot ng sponge, we will be using a cotton buds. But if you have a better alternative for that, then be it. You do what you like to do. That's your own plant anyway. So this is how the red sun looks like. It even looks like the red cherry or cherry red. And when you search Google, it appears as sun red. But whatever it is, then it's up to you. It is posted on Facebook as red sun. Still philodendron red sun. This one came from Thailand. So I believe that it is a cultured philodendron. And when we say cultured, it is produced through mass production. From plant cells or plant tissues, they usually appear smaller than those plants that we usually propagate here. Some of them may look different from the mother plant or where the tissues came from but still it is the same plant. It's just that it has been cloned through the tissues that they got from the plant itself. In fact, some may thrive and some may not. We actually tried buying one na namatay talaga, hindi nag-survive. Maybe because it didn't like where we put it. But now we have learned. It is really risky but it does not matter. If you love the plant, then you will take the risk. Enough of that. So he is still cleaning the leaves of the red sun. He is just using the cotton buds because some parts of the leaves are kind of unreachable if we use the sponge so it is better to use a smaller cleaning material because we do not want to damage any part of the leaf we are just using water here poha and so we are done let's take a look at the beautiful red sun however we will still be repotting it we have to make sure that the beauty isn't just seen outside we have to be sure na rooted siya and of course, medyo maliit yung pot para sa kanya. So, we bought a new plastic pot, but it's a black one. Can you see? Let's just take a look. This is something that we should be mindful of, especially for those who are using plastic pots. Kapag bagong bili po yung pots, medyo hindi pa ayos yung butas niya. So, ganyan, hindi pa siya butas. We badly need to emphasize the hole so that the excess water can go out. We really don't want our plant to rot, especially for those cultured plants na medyo sensitive. So ayan, we have to make sure na okay yung holes before we start repotting it or before we start using this pot. So for those of you who are using pots like this, of course we are using plastic pots because it is cheaper than those fiber pots. So for those of you who are using the same kind of pots, it's really best to check the holes first. So and we are almost done and after this, we will start repotting. Let's see if may mga roots na ba kasi minsan yung iba sobrang ganda tingnan but wala pa lang roots, medyo hindi lang nalanta agad. 
We are done. Marami na siyang buta. So we will start repotting now. Our coconut fiber is ready. This will be placed at the bottom of the pot to drain the excess water after watering our red sun. Anyway guys, some may opt for soilless potting mix. It's really up to you. It does not matter. As long as you know that the media will work on your plants, then you're good. For this one, we will be using the garden soil. And this garden soil is already mixed with cow manure. We have the vermicast and of course the rice hulls. I'm also flexing the other plants from Thailand that we have. We have this philodendron painted lady and also the Prince of Orange. They are thriving. We just do not let them out and expose in too much sunlight. And when it's raining, we do not expose them with too much rain. I do not know if you can relate, but dito kasi sa amin, umuulan halos every day. So ayan, yun yung iniiwasan namin. Iniiwasan namin silang magrat kasi kapag palagi silang basa. It is widely known that philodendrons do not like too much water. So be careful of that as well. Anyway guys, for those who are using vermicast, just make sure that it does not have the vermi anymore kasi it will end up eating the roots of your plant. So avoid that. Whichever type of potting mix to be used depends on whatever you are comfortable with. It does not matter. Kasi ito yung potting mix na ginagamit namin. This is really what we are used to and our plants loved it. So we are still using it and that's what we are using right now. After this, we can now start repotting. We just have to check the roots first. And anyway guys, if ever you'll ask how much we bought it for, then I will be showing it to you as well. I'm ready. We bought it for 800 pesos from Miss Lyrica Yushida. So we already have tried buying plants from her. And finally, this is our red sun guys. Sobrang dami na niyang roots. Take a look at that. Ayan. Let us take a closer look. So ito siya. Ayan, may mga roots na. Okay, so this is perfect. We will be repotting it. And it has a small shoot, guys. Tingnan yung nga siya, o, di ba? Itong maliit sa gilid. Shoot siya. So, ayan. This is a baby red sun. However, it would be too risky if we decide to cut it. Wala pa siyang masyadong roots. So, we will just let it stay here. We will not cut it for now. We just have to wait for it to be ready. So we will just let it stay here. Sana lumaki ka. And you'll eventually grow up as big as your mom. We will start repotting now. We just have to cover the coconut fiber with a potting mix that we have prepared before planting the red sun. For this one, this is from the Philodendron Millinoniae. It is a fiber from the Millinoniae. And this is what he will use to cover the roots before putting it in the pot. He usually does this and he have done this to some of our plants and it worked. So I do not, although I do not have any scientific explanation about that. This Milinoni eye fiber is a bit softer when you compare it to the cocoa fiber. So he is covering the roots just in case medyo basa yung soil and hindi madaling mag-drain or hindi madaling mag-dry. Hindi masyadong mabababad yung roots sa too much water. So that is his explanation why he is using it. I don't have any scientific proof about that but it worked so go on keep going so in guys he placed it carefully in the pot na so lalagyan na yan ng additional potting mix and it will be ready in just a few moments from now anyway guys just a disclaimer we aren't experts we are just sharing you some tips that worked for us through experience so what worked for us may not work for you it really depends but if you wish to try, then go on, just follow what we did. 
he is carefully adding the potting mix now. So, ayan, medyo malapit na tayong matapos. Kasi hindi naman pupunoin ng soil ang pot. We just have to make sure or what we just have to do here is that hindi siya yung parang maaalog-alog kapag na-touch mo or pag nasagi mo. So, ayan, kaya kinakover niya yung ng soil. And please to make sure that you cover all the roots with soil kasi yun yung pagkukuhanan ng roots ng nutrients. So ayan, remember not to water them every day especially kapag palaging umuulan para iwas tayo na mag-rot yung plant natin. And so we are done. So ito na yung philodendron red sun after repotting. And we will get right into the montage. Thank you so much for making it till the end of this video. Shout out to Ronnie Elzonio, to Kiwi Frando. Thank you so much for watching. To Mamalu Smuffet and to Love Kai 8. I'm just not sure if I read your name right. Thank you so much, guys. So for today's video, it has been Maria, the voice of Lanzilla Bohol. If you haven't subscribed, please click the subscribe button and hit the bell icon beside it so you will be notified whenever we upload a new video. Super thank you guys for watching and thank you so much for the support. Please like, share, and subscribe. Bye guys!